uh, hey there. So, uh, yeah, we reached the milestone. 300k. Let's get a round of applause, you know? I'm, I'm actually like half asleep right now, so wow, this is actually a bad idea. I don't know why I decided to record this right now, but we are here to do my 300,000 subscriber Q&A. Thank you all for the support recently. It's been absolutely wonderful, and to celebrate, we shall do a Q&A right now, today, and I do plan on doing these Q&As every like 100k milestone, so the next Q&A will be at 400k, so uh, let's get the boy up there. And if you wish to participate in future Q&As, I'll be taking questions directly from Twitter, so follow me at Summo Gaming. Although I really need to do more on my part, which is to upload, but I've been trying to find a balance between work and relax so that I don't burn out too easily because I get burnt out so easily, I don't know. And it's probably because I like to binge work, which is basically repeating the cycle of waking up, working on a video, shower, go to sleep, rinse and repeat. Anyways, that's enough talking about my problems. Yeah, let's actually get into this Q&A now. First question from Unprotecting. Favorite thing to do outside of YouTube? Well, the funny part is, what I do on YouTube is basically what I do in my leisure time. So basically, watch anime and play video games, you know, just... The typical nerd life so that's how it be though next question from laconic t mo live streams pun intended <laughs> I see what you did there. Funny guy, funny guy. Well, as I said in my previous video, which I briefly went over, is that I do have a Twitch channel. I just never used it. But basically, that will be the place where I'll stream when I do start streaming. So, you know, follow me on there. Link to that is in the description. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next question. From our boy XD. How do you feel about the new Fairy Tale game that's coming out? To be honest, although I haven't really watched too much of Fairy Tale, so I'm not really too knowledgeable in that department, the game actually looked... Not bad. It's actually one of the few anime games I would say that doesn't look that bad. And it actually might be enjoyable. Of course, these are my thoughts based off the trailer. So I suppose it's a bit too early to judge because we only seen like tidbits of the gameplay. I mean, I need to see a little bit more. I'm just saying. But from what I've seen so far, it looks fairly decent. And expect an uplift from the boy when it does come out. I might do like one or two. Uh, yeah, I probably just will do like one video and then depending on how that does if you guys do enjoy it Then I'll continue like a playthrough. Of course, that's based off the feedback I get on the first video So if you guys don't really mess with the fairy tale game, then yeah, just expect like one video I mean, you know, it's a nice little experiment run and uh, yeah I think I just sidetracked off the question at hand which is how do I feel about the game? It looks decent next question hentai collection reveal when at 1 mil how old are you? 19 and quick question for you guys do you guys ever forget your age like if you're asked your age on the spot do you ever forget about your age and you have to like think about it or is that just me i don't, I don't know but <clears throat> anyways next question for my boy song favorite hentai well all jokes aside i'm sorry to disappoint you all it is not boku no pico <sighs> I know, it's it's a bummer. However, to seriously answer this question, it would be the infamous Henshin Metamorphosis or Emergence. I, I don't know what the f*** it goes by. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty quality hentai. A bit on the dark side, but uh, it has the plot. Like, it has some good plot, right? Like, like real plot. And then on top of that, it has some other plot that, that's pretty good as well. So it was a pretty plotful experience. So shout out to Henshin and, you know, I guess peep it at your own risk. Can you do other games than anime and for... Bruh, I, I feel insulted right now. When was the last time I actually did a f f I'm not even gonna say the F word. Next question, how tall are you? Well, unfortunately the jeans have hit me hard. 5'8", but we can round up to 6'6". Six, six. Next question, what was the first content creator or game that inspired you to do what you do? So, originally, your boy, actually, oh, let's, let's go way back. Minecraft, Minecraft was popping. I was like, yo, Minecraft videos are lit. Let me make some pixel art videos. And that, that's what I did for some time. Then I realized, bro, COD is popping, bro. I love COD. I love, I love, or I shouldn't say I love shooting people, but I just love COD. And that's basically what I did for like two years. And you're a true OG if you remember though, like, actually, I don't even think I have anyone remaining from the COD days. If you have been sticking around for that long, comment down below, bro. I'm actually curious to see if anyone stuck around since those days. But basically, I did for COD for like two to three years. It was basically just sniping videos. And, you know, it was a good time. Ki kind of, actually. I, I remember some terrible rage-inducing days. Holy sh**. But yeah, I did some COD, right? Because, you know, I saw FaZe. We had FaZe, Arrow. Optic, you know, all of them clans that motivated me to become the sniper that I was, and I was still not good enough. <laughs> I got destroyed in every recruitment challenge possible, and it is demoralizing, but at the same time, I still kept on pushing and kept on pushing all the way until like 2016, and I still didn't make it into the clan. No clans, even like smaller clans that I even like tried out for, they denied me. I was like, damn, I must be a gamer. And so this then brought upon 
the weeb era where i started watching anime i think wait hold up i believe it was around like late 2015 i started getting back into anime i mean like i started anime as a child you know we got the gateway anime so we got like pokemon Yu Gi Oh, naruto right they're all anime that i i didn't even consider anime at the time i guess you know how it is they, they were cartoons and i was like huh i'm gonna start watching anime again so 2015 i started i was like hold up this weep <laughs> is for me Th this is this is my shit. and then i came across storm revolution which two creators that actually motivated me to like start making videos it was shiggas clouds and papa birdo shout out to those two after watching them play some ranked on revolution i was like huh i want to start making revolution videos so i started there then basically just cut off cod in general so <laughs> face for not i'm playing but i'm actually pretty satisfied and happy that i took this turn because if i were to keep the sniping route with call of duty i probably would be playing fortnite for or yeah, pretty much Fortnite or something. I don't even know. I, I don't even know where my channel would be if I didn't take this switch. But basically, to sum up the story, because I, I know I've been on this question for some time now, to quickly summarize it, I play Revolution. I f***ed with Revolution so heavily. Or just the concept of Storm. And I was like, huh, this weep it is for me. So then Storm 4 came out. And then at that point, I pretty much cut off all Call of Duty and stuck with Storm. And another content creator that inspired me was Afro Senju, because he was pretty much popping off when Storm 4 was in its prime. And yeah, I stuck with Storm 4, did some other anime content on the side anime in minutes and uh yeah that's pretty much a short and sweet story on how i got where i am today i don't even know if it was necessary to like explain my life story on youtube from one question <laughs> Yo, did I really just spend like a fourth of the video explaining that? All right, but anyways, moving on to the next question from Milf Hunter asking, who is the best Milf in anime? Y'all ever heard of Masato? Next question, do you like collecting anime figures or merch? Well, you see, with being a weeb, this actually could become a sickness and an addiction, which will tarnish wallets. Luckily, I'm semi-responsible and only have like about, I would say 15 figures, 18 figures. Like I don't, I don't, I don't really go too big on that. So do I like collecting anime figures and weeb <laughs> in general? Yes. Do I like the price it comes at? <laughs> Hell no. Because when it comes to figures, I like quality figures, right? And quality figures tend to come with a scary price. That hurts my head. But uh, I will do an anime figure showcase one of these days to flex my stupidity. Next question from Sins asking, are you going to upload Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Yes. Next question from Isuna Oriki. Can you make a Halo vid? I suck. I can't do that. But to satisfy your needs, behold the random Halo gameplay that I had saved on my hard drive, which I'm gonna be using for this video. Originally, I wasn't planning on using it and I actually scrapped it, but since it was a semi highly requested question that I play Halo for a video, I, I mean, I guess it's because I posted a few clips on Twitter. I guess here you go. And I thought this would be a good change of pace instead of watching like Storm 4 or something. I did ask, don't have any anime games left to play that are enjoyable, because we do have Jump Force, which I had to make a very in depth and elegant video essay on because i had to express how much of a masterpiece that game is so anyways here's your halo vid if i were to implement halo on my channel it would probably be in a ladder challenge which i don't even know if i'm in the mood to stress myself out at this point but uh yeah next question from my boy afro senju what is your end game goal for your youtube channel well that's a deep question but for a deep question like this i shall give you a simple answer which is to have fun because to many goals are all about numbers and i mean numbers are cool and all which is kind of why i'm doing this milestone video but at the end of the day i just want to make content that i enjoy making rather than forcing myself to make some sort of content <clears throat> anime in minutes that put a strain on my well-being which i'm very appreciative that i have supporters that watch whatever i upload and like i really do fucking appreciate that so yeah end game goal here is just to have fun make content that i enjoy and hopefully you all f with it next question this from my boy dinky will you ever get good at osu <laughs> hold up let me let me flex real quick well then this is osu never in a million years did i ever think i would be playing a rhythm game on my channel now to explain this game in the quickest way possible the goal is to click the circles and i know by hearing that this game just sounds stupid and i guess it kind of is but <laughs> anyways it is time for me to flex and click the f in circles oh yeah and if you play osu like please don't look at my profile right now now everyone loves sword art online and I, of course i have to start off with sword art online and let me just show you how easy this game is oh my bro bro this song sucks i think we need to add some double time on this bitch bro oh fuck me this song's trash, like. Easy, bro. I'm telling you, easy. Look at that, bro. Easy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 100% easy. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, ignore that. Oh, okay. Let's relax here. 
You see that? Easy, I'm telling you. Dun, 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 I promise you, that was, that was just warm up. <laughs> oh my f- Oh. It seems I got banned. I told you guys this game is too easy. Next question from Turbo Hokage, and he asks, when will you acknowledge me and verse me in a fighting game? When you surpass me in gamer score? And speaking of which, all right, I, I need to confront you on this one. Hold up. So one day I was just minding my own business on Twitter, right? And then this dude randomly hit me up like, it took you long enough to 100% Mortal Kombat 11, or like Mortal Kombat 11 in achievements if you don't know the context, because your boy is a filthy achievement hunter. But anyways, this dude randomly hit me up on Twitter like, it took you long enough to get all the achievements on Mortal Kombat 11, as if we were racing or something. And the funny part is, is that I didn't acknowledge that he was racing me so it was kind of like a one-sided race i don't know man turbo i'm sorry bro i know you're probably watching this but that was embarrassing all right next question what inspires you to do youtube as a career and why the delay on anime and minutes for the first part i did i just hated school and i i just didn't want to go to college uh, as terrible as that sounds so that was my motivation there and as for the second part with the anime and minutes uh I'll save that talk for another day. I'll make a whole video dedicated just for just to talk about that. How are you doing? Terrible. Just curious. Do you prefer a dub or sub? Now you see, I find the whole debate between like dub and sub just it's stupid. Just watch what you want to watch, and there's no need to attack one another. Like relax. And I'm mainly talking about these sub elitists. Like god damn. But what do I watch? I watch either or, depending on the mood actually. So. You know, it depends on the mood. Next question. Can I put my Minecraft bed next to yours? Huh? What are your top five anime openings? Well, that's a tough one because there's legit just too many openings to pick from. And I guess if you're all curious about my favorite openings, I put it somewhere in my, my anime list. My, my, that sounded ugly. But it's somewhere on my anime list in like my bio section. You can see all my favorite openings there and endings as well. As for top five, I, I legit can't answer that. That's just too complicated. Do you like MCU? I'm a scrub that never got into it. All-time best waifu, in your opinion. This is actually hurting my head thinking about. There's just too many, bro. My head. Oh, bro. Why? Why, why, why would you ask something like this? I suppose I gotta stay loyal to my first. Awesome enough. There's something about Cinder and Trash that I just can't resist, bro. I'm sorry. Favorite waifu of 2019. Well, for 2019, Chaika. What do you think about the Boruto manga? Like the anime, it's pretty boring to me. I'm not gonna lie. But it's not to the extent of the anime. The anime is like the all-time worst. Like, no, no, nothing can go as low as that. The Boruto manga is better, but it's still boring to me. So it is what it is. And so moving forward to our next question. Would you rather... Rather... Well, I suppose this concludes this Q&A. Once again, I would like to thank you all for 300,000 subscribers. I'm actually really tired right now. So I apologize if I lack the energy to show my grati gratitude. And uh, yeah, with that said, uh, I believe I'm going to commit sleep because uh, I'm dying.